Um, it's for the Queen's reign for 70 years. The Jubilee the is like a little party what we have about the Queen. There's been six Jubilees so far. Um, so um, it's, it's a celebration for the Queen and lots of other people. Cake tables being out on the streets and cake. I feel quite happy for the Queen because now she's like the longest reigning Queen and she's been on the throne for 70 years, so yeah. She's the first British monarch to do so. This has been the Platinum Plat Project, which is a celebration of the Jubilee year um, of 70 years of the Queen being on the throne. Um, but we wanted to do our own celebration, so the reason for doing the project is to link Goose Street Primary School with the railway station, which is where I've got my new studio space, and it's a way of bringing the community together. So we've been looking at ways that children from Goose Street can celebrate the Jubilee year. We have been working with different artists um, on different aspects of the project. So we've been working with artist Fiona Smith, who's a community artist based in Manchester, and she's been in to school to work with the children to look at what it means to be nine and 10 years old in 2022 in Goose Street. The first workshop we did was with uh, members of Friends of Goose Street Station and also the archive group from Goose Street. Um, one member, Bill, who has been, um, he's been with Fogs, I think, from the beginning. And he was 10 years old when the Queen was coronated. So we had a lovely link um, of them coming into school and talk to the children about what it was like when the coronation happened and brought lots of memorabilia from past Jubilee. So it was a way to get the children understanding what a Jubilee was. Um, and then the next workshops were all about the children. So it was a celebration of the children's lives. And the children at the school were doing loads of drawings um, under the heading of family or community or things that were um, interesting to them, things that they really like doing. So it might be about play or learning or music or their pets. So everything that's important to you if you're eight years old in the year 2022. So working with year four children at the school, um, and we decided to try and get lots of different art aspects involved. So um, creating clay coins like this one here. So making those, so the children would use a pick a word to do with um, their future and living in Goose Tree. So it could be about community or friends or um, all sorts of different words that are actually on these boards. Over here we made a board up. They would use nature as well, things from nature. So we got some berries and leaves and different things to make imprints into these clay coins. And we're going to make a plaque working with um, the Clay Studio in Manchester, Community Clay Studio, so they've been brilliant. Um, and then the discs will get, the coins will get fired, glazed and fired like these over here. Um, so when they're done, they're, all the coins go over to Tracy Cartledge, who's a mosaic maker, and will design a big plaque that's going to be um, installed at Goose Tree train station. So for everybody who comes to the station and leaves from the station or goes through, we'll be able to see it there. So this is the amazing old ticket office that we're in now. And this is the first public workshop we've run out of the space. And it's thanks to funding from the Arts Council England who've supported the project. Um, so I'm an artist based here in Goose Street. I'm a painter and I make textile rugs as well. Um, so this is my studio space. How the space came about was it was a derelict building a few years ago and the Friends of Goose Street Station group got funding to get the station restored and repaired. Um, so we've got a very supportive rail network um, the Community Rail Partnership who support it and Network Rail and Northern Rail. So we're all working together really to keep this building alive and going 
and we're just hoping it's going to become this new heart of the community art space where we can get communities together. She has a very heavy crown. <laughs> she has loads of um, houses and mansions. She has to make sure everything's in order for the country. Lots of strawberries. She waves to lots of people on Sundays. Chocolate! Well, we just made kites and we're dressing up in red, white and blue.